So we hear from a lot of people who see improvement to their hair, nail, and skin health when supplementing with collagen. So in this video, we're going to talk about why this collagen can help those issues. We're going to talk about some circumstances where it's really not going to create improvements. And we'll talk about some malfunctions in the body that a person can correct so that they might not need to supplement with collagen anymore. Let's jump in. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So collagen is found in our skin and bones and tendons and ligaments and cartilage and blood vessels and, and other connective tissues and it's, it's also found in your organs and even your intestinal lining. So it's very important in the whole structure of the body and it plays a very important role in replacing dead skin cells and also giving that skill like the structure and strength to have that elasticity to your skin. So this is really important stuff and we hear from a lot of people who see, oh wow, I, my hair Hair really wasn't growing and I started supplementing with collagen and that really helped or I was having issues with my fingernails not growing and such and it's really going to be beneficial when people are having a hard time growing their skin or nails or their skin is just not looking very healthy and it's not going to improve issues like male pattern baldness that's not what it's going to do that's usually different problems but when someone can't grow hair correctly it's very common to see this with female hair growth problems where supplementing with collagen can really improve that issue. But the reality is that we shouldn't need to supplement with collagen. The body has the ability to make collagen. And it's not like supplementing with collagen, the body just like, oh, thank you for giving me that collagen. I'm going to use this as the collagen to grow this hair or strengthen the skin. It's basically breaking down this collagen and using those elemental nutrient structures. So collagen is mostly made up of amino acids like glycine and proline and hydroxyproline, but it's also made of like other nutrients like vitamin C and zinc and copper and manganese. So it's not just made up of amino acids, but the body has the ability to make this collagen that it uses to rebuild all of these structures in the body. So when someone is not really producing and creating this collagen and allowing all of these parts of the body to grow and to be healthy, it's usually about trouble bringing in those amino acids. Maybe they're not consuming enough protein. We break down proteins to get amino acids. That's how we access amino acids is by breaking down proteins. So if someone isn't consuming enough protein, their body won't have access to the amino acids needed to really produce this collagen. And another even more common issue is someone's inability to break down protein. So they may be consuming enough protein, but they can't break it down into those amino acid building blocks. And this is very common if someone's dealing with any digestive symptoms at all, like burping or bloating or constipation or diarrhea or acid reflux or nausea or maybe food just kind of sits there in your stomach like a rock for six hours or some type of indigestion like that or even skin or acne issues. All of those can be signs of the digestive process not working correctly. And when the digestive process isn't working correctly, we can't break those foods down into the elemental nutrients that the body needs to rebuild the body and to create all of this stuff like this collagen. So if you're not sure where you are on that digestive function track, you can check out our video on 20 signs you're not digesting your food correctly, and that can give you some indications. Oh, do I need to put some attention into improving some digestive malfunctions? Because digestive malfunctions are very common, and what a lot of people don't know is that you can take steps to improve those issues. We're not going to go into that a whole lot. We have lots of videos that talk about improving digestive uh, malfunctions and digestive symptoms. So you can just search for those topics on our video page on our channel. But a lot of people don't know that they can fix those. And when they can fix those, then all of a sudden they can break those foods down into those elemental nutrients that the body can use. And another aspect is that some of the amino acids like glycine are not as abundant in a lot of the foods that we eat. They're not as abundant in normal animal proteins, but they're a lot higher in things like bone broth 
or organ meats. And a lot of people don't eat organ meats. But when you can consume organ meats, you can get a lot of nutrients that are not available from other sources. And a lot of people see a lot of improvements to this hair, skin, and nail health when they're doing things like drinking bone broth. Bone broth is a great way to access a lot of these amino acids and other nutrients that the body needs to build this collagen with. And it comes in this easy to access source. When you're drinking bone broth, basically like these bones and other vegetables or other foods have been cooking in this water for hours or days. And then it makes it a lot easier to access those nutrients. A person doesn't need to digest those nutrients. They're already broken down and easy for the body to access. So bone broth can be a great way to access a lot more of these amino acids. Um, maybe eating organ meats or even just taking grass-fed liver pills. You know, a lot of people don't want to eat liver, but they're okay taking a grass-fed liver pill, and that's a great way to access some of those nutrients. Uh, consuming gelatin can be very helpful, and, you know, probably not your normal kid's, you know, gelatin that's just packed with sugar and chemicals and junk, but you can find some high-quality grass-fed unflavored gelatins that you can start making into something. Maybe you sweeten it or flavor it with something a little bit more natural or maybe just some stevia or something that might be a little bit more gentle than cramming it with a lot of the sugar that a lot of, uh, you know, dessert gelatins are made of. And a person can also just supplement with collagen. And there's lots of brands out there. I'm not going to give you a brand or anything. You're going to have to do some research. But there's a lot of grass-fed beef collagen that I'm a big fan of. And you'll also see hydrolyzed collagen out on the market. And that just means that it's a little bit more broken down and a little bit easier for your body to bring it in and utilize the nutrients in that collagen. So we'll hear from a lot of people who will use some type of supplement like this, whether it's a collagen supplement or they're going to drink bone broth or have more organ meats or some grass-fed liver pills or gelatin or something like that, where they'll use these things where those nutrients are a little bit easier to access than breaking down like a, a dinner of liver. And they'll find a lot of improvement just by using these supplements to bring them in. But then if they, if they correct digestive malfunctions, that are restricting their body's ability to access those nutrients in the first place, then all of a sudden they don't need to supplement with those collagen supplements or these other things anymore because the body is able to access those nutrients from the food that they're eating. Now, they might need to consume a little bit more foods that would have a higher level of these types of amino acids and other building blocks of collagen. Things like chicken skin or these other organ meats or, or bone broth and things like that can be helpful too. But when they can break down those foods, it's easier to access those nutrients and then they might not need those supplements anymore. So if you test out some of these things, let us know in the comments how it works for you. And if you want to dig deeper into understanding, do I have digestive issues? You can jump over right now and check out our video on 20 signs you're not digesting your food correctly. I can't wait to hear about your results.